All right, uh, here's uh, Jake's new engine, the 304 cubic inch Y block. Uh, we've got some very nice pop up pistons for it from Ted Eaton. Uh, we're going to degree the cam today. Actually, in all honesty, we've already degreed the cam uh, just to kind of make it quicker for you viewers out there. Okay, first we're going to run through uh, how to find top dead center. Okay, we have a positive stop here. And I will bolt it to the deck so that when the piston comes up to top dead center, or when it comes up, it will stop on it. Okay, we are going to rotate this around till it stops. Watch the degree wheel, Pete. Take a reading. It is at, oh, 40 and a half. Now come back around the other way till it stops again. And it is at 40 and a half. So we have equal numbers on the other side of top dead center. So that means our wheel is set to top dead center. Back it up. We'll take our stop off. Okay, next. We have our dial indicator set up with a push rod in the lifter for the intake valve. And we want to keep that as straight up and down as possible. So the shaft of the dial indicator is straight into the push rod. The push rod is straight into the lifter. Just uh, keeps out all the variables. Okay, now that that is set up, we're going to bring the engine around. Watch the dial indicator till we get to maximum lift. Here we are. There we go, starting to lift. Now keep it going around and around and around. And it stops. What a coincidence, right on zero. Okay, that is maximum lift. Uh, now we are gonna back up 50 thousandths. We wanna go past it. So everything we take a reading on is moving forward. Now we come up to zero past it. Let's go back a little bit. We come up to right at zero and we take a reading off our wheel. It is 63 degrees. Okay. Now moving forward all the time, we are going to go past there. It's maximum and then go 50 after right there. Now take another reading off our wheel. And it is 145. Okay, now 145 plus 63 adds up to 208. What you do is you split that in half. 208 divided by 2 is 104. Now, our uh, cam card here shows that our intake center line should be at 104. Now again, we've already done this, so we knew it was going to be right. But uh, that's how you find where your intake center line is. Next thing we want to do is check the exhaust. That we haven't done, so this should be interesting. We're going to move our push rod over to the exhaust. Again, trying to keep it straight up and down. Now we're set up on the exhaust. We're going to run through the same procedure. Let's rotate it around till we find the peak lift of the exhaust valve. Okay, we're coming up now. Go, 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 go. Hmm. My goodness, right at zero again. Okay, now we're going to go backwards. Past 50. Going forward again, bring it up to the zero. Take a reading. We are at 152. Stop, go back. We're going to go 50 past. 
there take a reading uh, 72 so 72 and 152 is that correct uh, we took a reading of 50 before 0 and it was 52 and after 50 thousands after the peak lift was 172 add those together we get 224 and you split that in half divide by 2 and it comes out to 112 and that's what it says on our cam card 112 is supposed to be the exhaust center line okay so it shows that our cam was ground right because we're getting uh, agreeable readings on both the intake and the exhaust um, I did have to actually retard the timing set on it now in, uh, in the last video I told you how I indexed the crank and I think that put the keyway off a little bit from the throw that's why we had to actually retard it six degrees to get it to read right to the cam card okay now a little something extra for you uh, when you look at your cam card and it shows uh, intake center line and then lobe separation our lobe separation is 108 degrees. Now, when you get a 104 intake and a 212 exhaust, what's in the middle of that? 108, correct? That's, that's how you get that reading. So when you read your card and it shows a 108 as your lobe separation, but your intake center line and your exhaust center line are something different, just average the two out and that will come up with your lobe separation. Okay. So we've got a nicely set up engine here and uh, hopefully we're going to do good at Bonneville this year.